FaZe Rain just replied to me on Instagram, bro. FaZe the fuck up. I fucking love you, Rain. Thank you for always inspiring me and for telling me to push my limits, bro. I fucking love you, dude. You are my childhood and you are now my adulthood, bro. Thank you so fucking much, bro. I'm about, literally about to cry right now, dog. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? It's Little here. Welcome back to the channel, man. And as you guys can see, the intro, the title, and the thumbnail. Phase Rain replied to me. He knows of me. I don't even know why he responded to me, but bro, as like a longtime viewer, a longtime supporter, and someone that has seen his ups, his downs with Phase Clan, with himself, like his entire story, what he stands for, what he does now, speaks so many volumes to who he is. And that has inspired me to just stay true to myself as well and my you know, thoughts, my stands, my morals, all that stuff. And like the fact that I've literally been watching this guy since I was a literal kid, right? And now I'm on a full-time adult college doing YouTube and all that stuff. And he responded to me, which is crazy to even like fathom, right? But dude, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why he responded to me, man. I just wanted to talk about this entire situation because dude, like the kid in me, bro, wants to talk about it so much. And I've been holding it off for a couple of videos now, but man, I, I, can't, I can't keep it in me anymore, bro. If you're wondering like, oh, how did you get a response out of, you know, phase rain? And, and the only answer I can really give you is that he posts like um, advice on his Instagram story a lot and it's actually like really helpful advice. It's not just some like, you know, BS advice that like any like Instagram guru would give you any YouTuber guru would actually give you bro like his advice is you can literally apply it to everything and if i'm if i'm being honest bro the advice on mindset the advice on you know how to get things done etc etc like he's posted so many things and given so much advice to people who still follow him and or watch him it's honestly actually helpful especially for me now where i'm 19 years old and like i have no one in my family that's around my age and or has not even been in the, the situation i've been in but like like there, there's no one around my age that can give me advice and that can really like you know help me out if i'm being honest and like for me bro rain is that guy and literally out of the blue i decided to respond to him and his story and he actually replied back which is just which is absolutely insane to think about and as a viewer and like you know who i am now like it still freaks me out today dude because bro i've been watching phase clan and just like phase members for years now and man oh man bro i have so much love and appreciation for like phase clan members and stuff because dude listen the whole entire comeback that they've had with um the reset and kicking out all the members and just like you know going with the streamers and all that stuff and like live streaming like shout out to banks bro dude because bro like he really brought back phase clan and like i really do respect what rain did with um not being a part of this like new face and like not being as involved as he was years ago and just sticking to who he was and what you know his stance on the entire thing is you know what i'm saying i respect that a ton bro because a lot of people if they had that situation bro they would not let it pass it up but like Someone like Rain, bro, who I'm trying to be like in the sense of like just like sticking to what I believe in and not letting money, materials and all that stuff take over like, you know, who I am as a person. That really is like, you know, inspiring to see and like, I don't know, like I really resonate with what Rain did months ago, man, because I don't think a lot of people would be doing that at all. Yeah, like I'm not going to lie, dude. I don't know why he even responds to me, but like I was so geeked up, dude. I had to record at like 1 a.m. for the intro, bro. But yeah, like, I'm not even a joke around when I say this, dude. Like, I'm not even like BSing, bro. Like, I actually do want to join Phage Clan one day. Literally as like an intern for Banks, an editor, or like, you know, someone that's on camera. Like, literally anything, bro. Because, dude, that has been like the dream for literal years. And like, like I just want to work with people that you know i've grew up watching and like who've helped me out a ton with entertaining me as a kid and like work with the smartest minds within like the content and social media world especially like banks right and even then like adapt as well bro freaking working with adapt would be sick dude i don't think me and him would get any work done but you know <laughs> the whole entire reset people were still mad about it, especially from the call of duty community but like i'm one of the few folks from the COD community who actually was rocking with the phase reset since the beginning, bro. Like from the very beginning, I was rocking with the phase reset because I realized like, dude, the people that they are recruiting and stuff, they might be big in like certain gaming or genres and, and all that stuff, like certain games. But dude, like they are entertaining, bro. Like I've known Jason um, from TikTok. He's always so funny. Every time he pops up on my For You page, before and even after joining Phase Clan, I wouldn't skip a video. Lacey, I mean, I've known him from Fortnite and stuff and like dude he's always been entertaining i remember his subathon over like two years ago now or a year ago now and that was super entertaining right phase ron is a great example as well 
I've been following him literally since he won FNCS, and he's always been a funny guy. Max, I literally took inspiration for some of my videos as well, and I knew who all these guys were that were joining FaZe Clan other than Rage, because I, I did not know this thing about Rage being a clipper at first. Like, I knew of his videos like so illuminati and all that stuff and i did not think that was the same person right and then for silky i just did not know him but like silky's also a cool ass guy as well and i've always been with the whole entire phase reset bro you know what i'm saying and in and months after that they started up bing's interns as well and i've been a part of that group on twitter for a while now and dude those guys are the biggest grinders in the world those people within that community bro are insane dude and like even though we're not like you know the top top streamers bro we are learning grinding getting better improving every single day at what we want to do like i have some people that i met that are getting better at designing some people are getting better at editing some people are getting better at streaming doing content all that stuff bro and like dude just being able to have an opportunity to work with face clan bro would just be an insane like bucket list dream come true type of thing dude because bro i've literally been watching them since 2009 i've always been a fan i started off watching the face clan montages right learning how to temper shot with my freaking cousin then i freaking started watching apex and adapt and then i moved on to jev and rain and i've always sticked with jev because he's you know always been posting but even after they stopped all regularly posting daily and all that stuff like i was still trying to keep tabs up with the og face house from new york and what they were doing and all that stuff and man like a dream come true thing would be to join phase clan one day and hopefully in the next coming years that happens because dude just <laughs> just joining phase clan would be insane bro and even though the goal seems impossible to most regular people i'm not most regular people bro and it's not even just overconfidence bro like i feel like as a content creator bro like what i've been through and what i've done even though it's not technically a lot and it's not like an insane amount bro like dude i've put in the work i've put in you know improving and like you know all this shit and i feel like bro like one day once i just keep working and just keep grinding it out like i'm definitely gonna you know get somewhere with it bro but yeah man shout out rain shout out banks freaking shout out the new face clan as well also, what's been amazing to see as a, as a personal, like, viewer and fan and, you know, supporter, it's nice seeing Rugged Adapt kind of, like, be the new tempers and banks and guide, you know, the new FaZe Clan into content and, like, you know, helping them with literally anything, bro. Because it's not just, like, a whole, like, content work thingy. Like, it's not like, oh, like, we're on camera, we're nice, and then off camera, we don't even talk to each other. It's not like that. I could, I could obviously tell. All of them are all legit about the same goal of just, you know, bringing the best type of content possible and trying to you know make phase clan to what it was making it bigger than what it was at before and they're obviously doing that man with the whole entire sub assault thing which is absolutely insane to even think of and do they were literally streaming for an entire month 24 7 camera always on stream always on and with no breaks at all realistically was insane to see right like they pushed the boundaries of streaming that entire month bro and they literally broke records and like you know exceeded expectations in my opinion dude because i'm pretty sure jason like there's a clip of him literally saying like oh like you know i'm probably gonna get like a cool like you know couple thousand right and he actually got the most subs i'm just so happy that like this whole revival thing happened and you know i'm leaving this freaking match bro but yeah like i'm happy that you know this entire thing is happening with phase with the banks interns and all stuff and like and now with all this like phase coming back and like the revival actually working i mean it was working since the get-go but seeing all the og new york phase house members actually start posting content like i know adapt was you know he's literally i think the top 15 top 20 top 25 streamers for subs and all that stuff which is absolutely insane to see right he started off with a couple hundred he started off with less than a thousand subs at the beginning of the month of september then ended in like the top 15 to top 20 right apex even though he's you know not posting long form videos anymore on youtube he's still grinding away on tiktok and on snapchat right jev's always been posting rain's posting vlogs he's got an active discord community right he's streaming as well you know tico is doing his own thing as well and it's just amazing to see like everyone prospering in what they love what they want to do and stuff again dude you know what i'm saying because bro that was the magic to it all for phase when they were at their quote-unquote peak you know a couple years ago before all the corpros came in that was literally all of them just doing what they love to do and sticking with it and helping each other and like and like seeing them all the ogs like help out the new phase members like dude i would love to be a part of that but like you know i, I got a lot of ways to go bro but yeah man i still can't even believe that like phase rain responded to me and like a couple months ago banks 
I think he didn't reply, but he liked my tweet multiple times and all that stuff. And some of the Banks interns that are living with Banks and the new Face Clan and grinding it out with them, right? Cameramen, some of the editors, some of the people giving them ideas, all stuff. They've noticed me as well and the Banks interns community. So that's just absolutely insane to see. And like, literally, if I want this goal of joining Face Clan to happen, I got to keep grinding, keep improving and, you know, not be stuck in like one place, you know? And oh my god, holy bots. But yeah, guys, I'm ending off the video here. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, and let me know, you know, what your guys' thoughts on Faith Clan and all that stuff is. Because a lot of people in the Call of Duty community don't like Faith Clan anymore. But dude, for me personally, bro, I'm a ride or die for Faith Clan, dude. No matter what the situation was, dude. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully Faith Limbo does happen, man. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.